Hi, welcome to day 17 of the Crystal Advent event. And this is Carla B. And Carla B. has a fascinating friend with her, Pachamama. That's from Peru. And we're going to talk about that energy and some other stuff. But first, we have to go find out what crystal Carla got. Okay. Okay, so you are day 17. Right there. And yay, it came out. <laughs> what you got was what the Earth Mother, and that's what Pachamama is, the Earth Mother. We are thankful to our mother, the Earth, for she gives us what we need for life. She supports our feet as we walk upon her. It gives us joy that she continues to care for us. And that mm. she has, as she has from the beginning of time, to our mother, we send greetings and thanks. Now our minds are one. And what Carla pulled from the, from the, from the uh, crystal advent is agate. Mm -hmm. Agate is a, forms in many colors. Agates are primarily formed within volcanic and metamorphic rocks. It transforms negative energy into positive energy. Agate enhances many functions, improves concentration, enhances perception, and analytical abilities. It is soothing and a calming gemstone that heals the inner anger, anxiety, and helps us strengthen relationship. Agate instills security and, and safety. Mm -hmm. What is the spiritual purpose of agate? A lot of agate spiritual properties can be contained in colors. If they're vivid colors like red, that can, we've already had a red agate. We know what that does. But this particular agate is one that's for meditation and spiritual exploration. Holding a crystal agate during meditation can facilitate deeper concentration with one's inner self, enabling greater self-awareness, intuition, and spiritual growth. The heart chakra is the place where the spiritual and physical love comes together. Agates are very good and all connected to the heart. If they have pink or red, they're even more connected to the heart, but all of them bring that energy into the center of your body. The root chakra is a grounding stone that can help promote, promote connection with the earth energies. So this has root chakra colors too, so it can mean that. Stones that work well with this include red and blue agates. And, um, and it says put an agate in the part of the house that needs the most energy replenishment and gentle healing. And that's true when they're among the neutral agates. So mm -hmm. that's your stone today, Miss Carla, Thanks. the agate. And then we're going to talk about, Carla is sort of my person that can explain the prayer that I've begun each day with about Mother Earth. Go. Yeah. I I just, I've always had an affinity Um with with Pachamama um, and this this energetic connection uh, to the source, um, and I I think at this time in history we are uh, shifting. There's energetic shifts, and it's important to stay balanced and centered and grounded. Uh, because of all the craziness and chaos going mm -hmm. on. And that is just kind of what happens with change. So I um, sit with Pachamama. I look around and um, just just kind of meditate with the, like the trees outside and take the time to look. Uh, to, you know, just to, to look at the natural world. And it's kind of funny because sometimes people look at me like, what are you doing? And they'll stop, take the time to look. And I, I just think it, it helps to just calm, calm us. And we need to be calm in this time right now mm -hmm. and to focus. So that for me is very important. I kind of stay away from the news. I, I get news that I need, but I'll walk away 
and just kind of balance myself. I don't care where I am. I can be in my car at a parking lot and just sit and center. Um, because being balanced with the Earth Mother is really important right now. Mm -hmm. Where did she come from, Pachamama? Um, Pachamama is um, Peruvian. I believe that uh, she is pre-Incan, and um, she's here to help. Mm -hmm. She's here to help. Um, she's going through a lot of changes right now. She's got to take care of herself. So there is a lot of cleansing going on. And rather than fear it, uh, you know, the, the changes, her shifts, um, we just need to stay prepared um, for any natural events that happen wherever we are. Um, you know, a lot of people are always asking about, gee, is there going to be an earthquake in my area? Is there going to be flooding? Just prepare. Mm -hmm. prepare. And I really, you know, a lot of times, and it depends on the lessons that people need to learn, what they've come in to learn, but I just... In, in the chaos, if you can find that, that center, the eye of the hurricane, find that center. And it's amazing how the body just calms down. Mm -hmm. And you gain more clarity once you calm down. Yeah, so, that's yeah. why I like this agate so much for you, because it's it's a centering, it's a mild agate, but it has a lot of force, a lot of energy in it. Mm-hmm. And and it can help all of us with that. Yes, yeah. And you lived in South America for a while. I yeah, for a good ten years. Uh huh. I lived in uh, what's known as the Sacred Valley, Cusco, uh, and th those mountains will will talk to you. They'll have a conversation. Um, I don't. If you're part of a tour group, if you can kind of break away and just sit, sit in that energy, and you'll receive messages. Mm -hmm. So I, I really, I, I, I just absolutely enjoyed it. Um, talk about lifting one's spirits. Uh, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And you can kind of get ready for, <laughs> for uh, what's coming in the future. At the same time, uh, the mountains will say, live in the moment, mm -hmm. be in the moment. And Americans kind of have a hard time doing that. <laughs> well, always, they've always got their to-do list. Yep. Mm -hmm. The schedule. Yeah. Yeah. It is like being out of time, if you will. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to thank you so much for agreeing to come and, and share your wisdom and what you've learned could you show us show us the scepter stones? Oh yes, these are really beautiful. Uh, jaguar. These these carry the energy of uh, jaguar. Um, this is female. Whoops. Female's mm. lighter. Uh, yeah. The no. The female's the dark one. Okay. The male is uh, the lighter one. Okay. So kind of the opposite, yeah. <laughs> Shows you what I know about scepter stones, if you're wondering, were those carved? No, that's how they grow. Mm -hmm. That's why they're special sort of stones. There are part, there are some um, quartz mines in Arkansas that have scepter stones in them. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, oh, yeah, they're all over the world, but they're called the scepter stones, and they are a special stone because they have that little toppy boo on them. Mm -hmm. And they can be really long and beautiful like hers, or they can be short and stubby. But they're very powerful stones. And mm -hmm. someday I'll do a different speech on scepter stones. Oh, that would be great. And these like um, uh, sitting in front of Pachamama. So mm -hmm. I just, um, they're pretty amazing, pretty powerful. Well, thank you for letting us have a window into your world and into your critters, your <laughs> critter stones. And I want to thank everyone who's come and joined us today. I hope you'll come tomorrow at 11 11 for day 18 mm -hmm. and we'll see what stones show up then and who shows up with the stones <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you so much carla bye bye, thank you. bye.